I worked with an editor named Kyle Henry um, for about three years off and on because we were editing as I was shooting and uh, we were co-editors and um, you know every I think every director works differently some directors just hand their footage over to the editor and don't really partake in the editing process um, but for a lot of reasons some was budgetary I mean we had so much footage and we were editing while I was shooting there was just and it was such a long project there was no way I had money to hire a full-time editor for three years so part of it was budgetary so I would co-edit he would come in and work for a month or two at a time and then leave for a few months and then come back for and then I would edit when he wasn't there and even he would work like a half day and then I would edit the rest of the day so we really kind of you know tag teamed with the editing we were two co-editors um, <clears throat> and for me for me that was really useful as well because I think a lot of times you don't find your, st if you're doing a verite documentary where you're shooting so much footage and you know in the end we had probably upwards of 650 hours of footage, um, a lot of times you find the story in the footage. I mean I knew what the story was, it was a chronological story basically of their lives from age 19 to age 23 and you know obviously it was before they went and when they were there and when they came back but there's a lot of different ways you can tell that and <clears throat> even you know even after we'd been editing for two and a half years and I'd been I was almost done shooting I think I only had one more shoot left it was the summer of 2010 um, I still, I wound up going back and looking at old footage that I had sort of forgotten about and found like amazing stuff in that old footage and we made new scenes from that because they, for whatever reason, they, well for us it was, for my film it really was about connecting with the characters and so um, in our first rough, full rough cut that we had, we realized we were kind of missing footage that helped people connect to the footage. And um, I went to the Sundance, Sundance Edit and Story Lab for a week, and at the lab, you know, they said, you, you need to make the film that you were shooting and not the film you're editing. Cause, and it made me realize, like, I remember from when I was shooting, like, three, earlier, three years earlier, that there was this great moment, you know, with Cole's mom, or this great moment with Cole and Dominic. And, you know, so I just went back and found that footage, and we were able to you know, create new scenes <clears throat> from footage that we had forgotten about. And so, and it was all about connecting to the characters. Like a lot of the scenes in the first third of the film are really to help you get to know the characters and really like them. And, um, and that was like a big lesson that, you know, you really need to, a lot of times you get kind of sucked into, you have, like you have a sample tape and your sample tape has a very specific purpose like with voiceover and it really talks about the issues and there's a lot of voiceover because you're trying to get a lot of information in 10 minutes <clears throat> but you can't edit your film like a sample tape and I think we were trying to edit the film like the sample tape and we realized like you know we can't do that we have to go back to and create these whole scenes where you get to know the people just by them by whatever happens in that scene um, and it was like a really big lesson you know and um, it really saved the film in a lot of ways, but you know to be able to take the time with your characters and Not have a lot of voiceover. You don't want to tell the audience what to think and feel and um, I mean it's important to have some voiceover obviously, but um, But a lot of it is just you can if you can just show it in a scene. It's just much more powerful so um, So a lot of the editing process involved going back and finding that footage that made me connect with the characters in the first place, you know um, but in terms of logistics of editing, I mean, what really helped us a lot was transcripts because we had so much footage and we, we basically had interns from University of Texas who um, did most of our transcripts and we had every interview transcribed over the course of four years. Um, in Afghanistan too, I would, <clears throat> the camera would just be running all the time when we would go on missions because, you know, I didn't, 
in case something happened, I had to have the camera running, you know. So even if nothing was happening and no one was saying anything, I always had the camera running. So sometimes, you know, we'd be out for 10, 12, 15 hours on a mission, and that's like a lot of, and that we had those missions transcribed because, I mean, if you've seen the film, there's a lot of great banter that goes on while these guys are driving around for 10 hours and nothing is happening, you know. Their job was very weird in that, you know, nothing happens and then a bomb goes off and everything happens, you know, they had a very surreal kind of job. So, but a lot of those boring hours, they would have these really funny conversations. And um, and that to me was also very important to humanize their experience their, and humanize them as people, not as soldiers. And so um, having those transcripts of those was great because I was able to find those parts where they're saying something funny or talking about something interesting. And so transcripts are really, really important very important and uh, just making sure we were on top of the footage and getting it logged and digitized as as I was shooting um, you know and then from the transcripts and from um, other things we would make selects and then from the selects we would make a rough sequence of the selects and then from that we would put it down into a scene and then we would start putting the scenes together and that was another thing we learned at the Sundance Edit Lab is not to be so stuck to chronology. I mean, my film's chronological, but you can arrange the scenes not exactly chronologically, you know, so that it makes sense for the narrative arc, you know. So there was a lot of wonderful things I learned at the Edit Lab that were really helpful.